Kevin Monongai, I'm 21 years old, I'm from Roseland, New Jersey, I'm the oldest of three siblings. Uh, both my parents came here when they were 18 for college, met here and got married. I've pretty much been playing football since I was in sixth grade. I uh, fell in love with the game then, but I didn't really get to play until later because uh, my parents didn't really believe in the validity of sports and the only thought education was the only thing I should be focused on. And uh, from then on, I kind of just, you know, once I got the go to just play, I, I just fell in love with the, the, the physicality of the game, you know, the camaraderie and everything like that. Uh, I had a kind of weird path to college. Uh, I had, was leading rusher in New Jersey. My junior year ended up missing out the season because of a third degree ankle sprain. Went into my senior season with no offers, came out, pretty much broke every record in my 150 year school history. Uh, ran for about 2,266 yards, 35 touchdowns. Uh, ended up getting offered by Nova two weeks before signing day. Went there, uh, finished my career as a third leading rusher in Villanova history. And, uh, and now I'm trying to make my run for the NFL. Uh, one of my biggest struggles probably as um, I'm pursuing my dreams would be the fact that I just want to be able to help my family financially. My mom was used to work for Johnson Johnson as a cardiovascular uh, specialist. Like she would sell heart medicine to the doctors in New York City. Uh, she got laid off about four years ago. My dad's been supporting our family with uh, just his paycheck for about four to five years now. Uh, so I feel like, especially being the firstborn son, it, it would be really important for me to be able to help my family out and you know kind of be the the next step or patriarch of my family. And, uh, you know, be able to help out. I, I want to share my story with the world because, you know, I, I really feel that my talent is comparable and has empirically been proven to be comparable to uh, top or high profile NFL prospects, uh, similar to like Terrence West, who was in my conference from Towson University, who's now the starting running back for the Cleveland Browns. Uh, my sophomore year, Terrence and I were uh, both the top running backs in our conference, and I ended up outrushing him and leading our conference in rushing yards. Uh, my junior year and then my senior year, however, my, instead of being in a balanced offense, uh, we kind of switched to a quarterback-centered offense, and even so, I managed to run for uh, 1,138 yards and 15 touchdowns my senior year, and we had two 1,000-yard two rushers uh, in, the quarter, in the backfield, my, the quarterback and I. Um, and I just, I just really want to be able to represent the people in the world who you know, have the des desire to pursue their dreams but may not have had the opportunity. Um, but just to let them know that, you know, with hard work, you know, determination and a little bit of faith, you can achieve anything you want. The thing that makes my story unique is that I, I, I wasn't even really supposed to play football. Like up until sixth grade, I only ran track because my parents were like, you can play sports, but they didn't want me playing anything as violent as football. Um, they're both from uh, West Africa. So to them, soccer is really the only sport you should be playing. But I wasn't really all about that running. So I, I just decided to uh, do sprinting and track. Um, so it took my best friend, my childhood best friend, and his mother to convince my parents that football was uh, something that you know I should be a part of. You know, in recess, I was pretty much just schooling everybody out there and you know doing my thing. So it was kind of interesting that you know in that turn of that turn of events, if that hadn't had happened, I wouldn't even have you know gone on to play high school football, get a scholarship to Villanova, and then be in the position I am today. My role in the community around me. I come from a pretty small town in North Jersey. Uh, I kind of just saw football as a sport, but as I started to gain college attention, I saw my role in people's eyes turn from like just a kid who's you know playing a sport he loves to like a mentor and uh, a person of influence, which uh, you know I really enjoy. And I, I just like the fact that just by doing something I love, I can be a positive influence in people's lives. And I, I really feel like that's why my story is unique.